Hi guys, it's Omer from Emmahut.com. I'm going to do a quick first impression gameplay video for Sun, Soul of the Ultimate Nation. Now if you want to play Sun or, or uh, just learn more about it, check out the link on the sidebar under the description. Now this is a free to play MMO by Iggy. It's uh, incredibly fun. And uh, here we go. I have a level 12 character over here, level 12 Valkyrie. But I'm going to go ahead and make a new character right now. You can tell right away that the musical score is quite good. And the graphics are actually really good as well. Go to create character. Whoa. They changed the great character screen since I last played. Let's say I click this guy. Berserker. Alright, now the classes in this game are gender locked, so if you want to play a Berserker, you gotta play male. She's probably a mage. Elementalist, yeah. She's pretty cute. In fact, I really like. Let's see what this guy is. Dragon Knight. Yeah, there's only four starting classes right now, and this is the Velk. Let's, uh. I kind of want to play a warrior, but I want to be the elementalist as well. She looks awesome. You know what? I'm going to go with the elementalist. I don't mind being a female. Especially when the graphics are this good. I don't mind having some eye candy to look at while I play my MMORPG. That's really the argument for playing female characters as well. People like to say that if they're playing an MMORPG for hours on end, they might as well look at a female avatar than a male avatar. Anyway, uh, I don't have to look at this. Let's look at my customization options. My hairstyles. I like the default. Ooh, this one's pretty good too. It looks elegant. So there's a fair amount of customization. And height is in meters. Let's go short. Costume. There's only one type of costume. A few staffs. I'm gonna leave the default. Yeah, you it really doesn't matter what you pick on the armor stats because you can't see in the actual character over here. Anyway, let's just jump right to the game. Uh, let's get in here. Create. Yeah, it's it's kind of lame that the characters are gender locked though. But it's not a huge deal, because it doesn't actually affect the gameplay. Prolonged gaming may be harmful to your health. Now look, this game has absolutely gorgeous graphics. Some of the best graphics I've seen in a free-to-play game. My character looks all hot. My character's pretty hot. Anyway, Ignis over here is giving me some uh, tutorial information. I am in the tutorial area right now, unfortunately. And it's the interface is really nice. At least the map is. I'm not a fan of this hockey area down here. Even this over here looks a little bit old. Uh, my character's screen looks kind of old and meh. But this map is awesome. You click M twice to load up the big map over here. We can see quests and uh, NPCs. They're clearly marked for the item shops. And if you click M again, it just brings a, a transparent screen. Kind of like in Diablo 2 when you click tab. At least, at least I believe it was tab. Now uh, Lucid over here has a quest for me. I love how there's uh, no dialogue over here. Right, here we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Except this game is by Web then actually. I think it's the same guys that made Arcelor, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, his quest was to talk to this guy right next to him. Awesome. I gotcha. Let's go do some stuff. Let's talk to that guy now. Yeah, a lot of the quests in this game are very linear, at least early on. But it's actually a really good thing because on my level 12 character, I got to level 12 without ever being confused on what to do. The game is very straightforward. Breeze from NPC to NPC, quest to quest, it's all very connected, which is awesome. You're never left kind of just thinking, oh, where do I go next? What do I do? Should I just go grind? I never had to grind on my character. Quite awesome, in my opinion. Alright, I get to go outside and kind of kill stuff now. Yeah, now, it's even marked where I have to keep my kill quest. Take a look at the map, it says, um, Liberation Army Test. Even the shadow looks great. I kill some of these dudes over here now. Let's use my... Uh, I can use my fireball or something. No, I'm gonna go punch this guy. Hmm, maybe punching is not a good idea. Yeah, I should put my staff here. There we go. I'm actually quite happy that you can get all the stuff to start with. Even as ca a cash up I have to start with. Really quite awesome. I even got a cheetah elixir so I can run faster. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see my yeah. quest. Any skills though, yep. Yeah. Let me bring these outside while I be on this guy. Yeah. Like I said, honestly one of my favorite parts about this game is it's very straightforward. You go quest to quest, skill to skill, and you know, everything. You never left wondering what, what should I do next. Alright, Ignis, I leveled up, yeah. K to view my skills. You get a skill point every level it seems, and uh, I have a whole bunch of skills. Holy wow! On my uh, on my Valkyrie, I have nearly as many skills as this. 
These are my passive skills, my circle skills, and my ether skills. These are more like elementals. So yeah, you have an enormous amount of variety when it comes to skills. It's a very polished game, I can tell right away. Combat is fluid, animations look nice, graphics are gorgeous. Ooh, fast paces up. Well. And what's even better is that uh, a lot of the instances aren't really like late game instances either. I remember when I faced the tutorial area, there's a uh, instance right outside the beginning area. So you can just start doing it on level 10. And it's really nice because most games don't, like, don't give you that dungeon feel to it until later on. I have to go back to town and hand in my quest. It's marked on my radar as well. Kind of wish I finished this tutorial area beforehand. But it's kind of like Guild Wars, because when you finish the tutorial area, it's all burnt down in a fire. So spoilers on that. It's not really a big deal though, because you won't be coming back here. What's up, Udo? You get to pick your equipment. I will obviously pick the talc armor because I'm a elementalist. In this game, all elementalists are uh, female. I like when I jump, my skirt just kind of goes up. Let's go see that in action. <laughs> kind of silly, but it doesn't really matter. I really should have gotten that second quest, so I'm just going to get there real quick. I was too busy being perverted. It does tell you how much experience you gain after every monster, too. I do want to say, though, I've been playing this before. I've played this before. It's really one of the better free-to-play pitches out there. It's more polished, a lot more content, more variety, great graphics, and really excellent gameplay. It's very straightforward. This is a game that you should definitely try out. Although it's not too unique, it's really a cookie cutter fantasy MRPG, but it's very well done. Where do I go now? Low quality leather I need to, I need to find. Where can I find some low quality leather? I guess I have to kill those dudes. Hmm, well, I'm gonna go kill a few more of the dudes and get some low quality leather. Let's see my stats, which I get. Can I boost my magic? No. Alright, I can boost my stats into intelligence. Bam, bam, bam. And what's, re what's really nice though is even if you screw up your skills over here, you can be set every once in a while, and it doesn't really cost any money to be set either. Experience rate is pretty fast paced early on, as you see me leveling up. I have to tell these, I think 10 of these uh, bars over here first. It goes pretty, pretty fast early, but it slows down significantly early. Alright, I finished another quest. And I really can't emphasize how many quests are, there are in this game. It's everywhere. Once you leave the tutorial area, you'll see so many quest NPCs. And they're not like boring quests either. They involve you killing bosses. Mostly kill quests, so you're not really doing the whole FedEx thing over and over again by following the NPCs. And I think you know, a lot of other games should do this as well. I hate being left in a game and not knowing where to go. Like, I don't want to just grind. I want the game to, you know, sort of nudge me in the right direction. And this is what... Sona does really well. This is Iggy's, one of Iggy's newest and more PGs as well. Gotta pick up these crates over here. We'll look through these boxes. The entire world is very well, gorgeous. Very well done graphics. Though if you want to play the game on this high resolution that I'm playing and you will need a moderately powerful computer. Honestly, this game looks a lot better than a lot of pay-to-play RPGs. Certainly one of the most graphically impressive free-to-play games. Just look at the detail of my character. Just my stunning equipment. Wait till I get some uh, awesome gear. Some fancy jewels on me. Alright, I need to go back to the... Alright, I can just leave this area now, I think. There's a lot to this game, guys. A lot of content. I can't even jump. Although, you do jump a little bit high. But that's something that a lot of games do, I'm not sure why. Hi, Raymond. Talk to you again. Go to the Forest of Spirits. Blowing gaming may have the adverse effect on your health. Nowadays, a lot of games tell you that, I don't know why. I guess a lot of people play these games until they die or something, I don't know. Set. <laughs> this is a tutorial, there are so many quests. It gets even better later on, though. Build a lever, build my bridge, interactive terrains like that. The guys may seem a little bit unfluid on my screen because I'm recording, but they're absolutely great in the game. The fraps does lag me a little bit. And I am recording at 920 by 1080 resolution. 
Look at the water over here. It looks so real. Not real, really mystical and fantasy like. I can't record past 10 minutes, unfortunately. Thanks, Ignis. Ignis guides you through the beginning area over here. Anyway, guys, if you want to learn more about Sun, or play it yourself, which I strongly recommend you do, check out the link on the right sidebar under the description. Later, guys. I'll end this video with me twirling my hair.